If there's one thing you should know about this channel, is that this is not a place for good vibes and positivity. As a person who is brutally honest, I usually start my video by roasting a city instead of compliment a city, like every other travel blogger. But Charleston actually exceeded my expectation, making me feel like this is the city that is actually underrated. What's up? Good morning, guys. Today, I just found out a very useful technique to keep yourself awake and energetic for the whole day. You want to know about it? Did that work? Tell me about it. I'm gonna give you guys a little Airbnb tour. Um, yeah, this is it. To be honest, this is going to my, be my first time kayaking and am I nervous? Not really because first of all, I know how to swim. Second of all, if I drown, you guys are drunk with me. And we can get more vlog footage, so that's good. Let's go. Somebody tell me if the cat is acting aggressive or not because I really can't tell. I guess the cat is um, safe to pet um, But I'm not, not going to pet it anyway so But look at the views In South Carolina Yes, I feel like solo travel is better than travel with your family or friends. Yeah. Yeah. I just finished my kayaking. It was a pretty fun experience. Oh my god, my battery is it's going about to die. I'm gonna Yeah, so the guy know a lot about birds and he keep talking me about that and it was pretty relaxing and you because it's like this is not a peak season. Oh my god, this fucking camera, I wanna choke you, I wanna fucking choke you. Uh, anyways, what I'm just trying to say is I enjoy the kayaking a lot and if you want to go kayaking in like South Carolina, Charleston or anything like down the south 
um, definitely put some like protection, like pet spray, or oh, well, I mean it's like mosquito spray, cause and bug spray, and that's the thing that you need to worry about the most. It's not about it's actually pretty safe. Kayaking is actually pretty safe activity, so you don't need any experience to, you know, to kayak. Like those blood probably lost my B type blood. It's going to get worse in the summer, so yeah. Tomorrow. Anyways, my plans for today is to explore downtown a little bit and get some breakfast. You know, that's pretty much it. I only have two hours left. I gotta go. Bye. Oh, you guys are coming with me, so yeah, let's go together. So I'm walking here, walking in here. I'm really excited to listen to me. Listen to me. We don't talk like that. We don't say things like that. You understand? Do you understand? Well, I am sorry that my blog won't contain any for any like useful information about the like the historical of the tourist attraction like all the information about that because my two brain cell isn't able to comprehend that and remember all that shit so um, all I can do is just to show you around and give you my genuine reaction and feedback anyway the breakfast was very fulfilling I feel like I I don't even need to eat din have the dinner.
Oh my god, now I'm holding my piece. I only take like this much espresso and I, and I can't take it anymore. I want a piece. I want to go to the restroom real quick. Um, I just took a piss in the backyard So the moral of story today is Do not drink espresso in the morning The second cat I saw in... Okay, just... Last stop in Charleston, the Angel Oak Park That's the end of today. See you guys in Savannah, Georgia.